Yo, what is up YouTube? It's Elliot here from Neanderthal Fitness, www.neanderthalfit.com, personal trainer, fitness instructor, YouTube talk at the camera dude. So today's video is impromptu because I was trying to get a workout video up for you guys, psyched to have got myself an editor which is working on the PC. Um, I got myself Lightworks, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, if any of you are into video editing. Fancy piece of kit that you can get a free version of. Seems to work well with the HD videos, not having the issues I had with um, with Windows Movie Maker. However, I am having a whole new set of issues, which is one steep ass learning curve on this piece of kit. So, I was trying to piece together this workout video I made for you guys, and it's going to take me more than a couple of hours, probably a couple of days um, of work. So. True to my word, I wanted to get a video up for today, so expect the workout video either tomorrow or the day after, depending on how quickly I get to grips with this Lightworks business. But today's video, I thought I'd share a little bit of information with you. Um, so, as you guys know, if you saw my minimalism video, and if you haven't, go back and check it out. Um, it's one of my more recent uploads. Um, you will know that I binned off all of my shoes, trainers, everything, apart from two pairs, my Vibrams for running in and working out in and just my everyday shoes. So for the first time since I came back to the UK and the first time in a long time I went for running my Vibrams. So for months and months before I left I was running just in my trainers. Um, I kind of stepped away from the Vibrams because I fucked up my ankles. Um, I think from going from like one to the other, so I was running in standard trainers, then running, well running in running trainers by ASICs and then running in Vibrams and so the two running styles obviously don't go hand in hand and I kind of cocked my ankle at my calf muscle, was really um, shot for a while and so I stopped running and then when I went back I was just wearing my standard trainers so I was still running not as often but just in my ASICs. So today first time um, that I decided to don the Vibrams and go for a run. So I want to start running every other day in between my workout days. So yesterday was a workout day when I filmed the video. Um, today was going to be a run and flexibility work. So there's going to be some yoga this evening. Um, and I went for a run this morning. So I set myself a little route, a 5k route. It was uh, one and a half miles out, one and a half miles back. Um, it involved some pretty steep hills. Um, not particularly long ones, but two, no, sorry, three pretty steep hills, and the rest of it just the average run out on the roads, you know. Um, so I donned the Vibrams, started running on the balls of my feet, of course. Started off, felt good, felt strong, uh, listening to some tunes, good old run, and just about, just shy of halfway round, my calves were on fire. Um, so, so painful, and I started on the route back, I wanted to be true to myself, run the whole distance, um, which I did, but my pace slowed down a lot, and I gotta tell you, towards the end, I don't know if you guys have tried running in these barefoot running shoes, but obviously you're up on the balls of your feet, so the idea being that your foot, so you land on the ball of your foot, and then your foot kind of comes down to absorb the shock so that it's not all bang bang into your ankles and your knees. Um, as a result, you're essentially doing calf raises, like, one leg at a time, the whole time that you're running. And it gave me some crazy definition in my calves before. Um, I used to run, I think it was about 1.5 kilometers each morning. Uh, like, I did that every morning when I first got my Vibrams to get used to running in them. And even that, the next day, I'd be sore. So I ran five goddamn kilometers, first time I've worn them in over six months. And I shit you not, I can barely walk upstairs anymore. So the moral of the story is, these things are great. You know, your feet are designed to run like that. So I'm not too worried about injuries or anything. But take it slow. If you switch to barefoot running, don't do that. So by like three quarters of the way through, I couldn't really land on the balls of my feet very well. I was just about, so I wasn't heel slamming but I wasn't really getting up onto the balls of my feet. Um, you know, my form started to suck and I had to slow down a lot, and my toes and everything were getting sore. So one thing you'll notice is your pinky toe will get really sore, 
because in average shoes it doesn't really have to do anything but your toes are really gripping the floor when you use these uh, five finger shoes um, so yeah as I say impromptu video just to tell you guys if you get yourself some of those and I highly recommend you do because um, I think barefoot running is like what I would consider an essential part of Neanderthal fitness um, yeah get yourself a set but take it slow do about one to two kilometers for you know a couple of times a week to every day for the first couple of weeks build up the strength in those calves before you try and conquer a 5k I do not envy myself tomorrow um, but you know tomorrow is another day it's a workout day and yeah then I'll be coming back to run again on Saturday and I'll try and do the 5k again maybe even a little bit further so peace out guys hope you enjoyed the video if you do give it a thumbs up comment down below with what you want to see in upcoming videos subscribe for more videos all the time peace oh and if any of you guys know like are really good with lightworks give me a shout in the comments I'd like to talk to you peace out guys see you